What's going on YouTube Nation? I'm the Coffee Bean Gem and for this video we are going to be doing the second part of my GIMP map tutorial. Now if you watched the first part or the first video, we created this basic landmass that you see here along with the water and uh, you know gave everything a little bit of a basically just created our landmass and our water and gave it a look so that we can start uh, playing with it trying to build this map. What we're going to do in this video is give everything a little bit of a texture, start bringing things to life a little bit. And uh, well, this is the basic outline of what we're going to make this look like. You can see the grass, the water, and that's what we're going to do here. So, first thing you want to do, you need a grass texture. So, I already have mine up here. We're going to be using this one. I will put a link into the, the description of this video down below of what, you know, the link to this grass texture here. So what you do, once you get into there, you're going to do, you're going to copy the image, you're going to swing back over into GIMP, you need to right click, edit, paste as, new layer. That'll create a new layer and it'll have our grass. First thing we need to do is click on our layer, give it a name. Call it grass, hit enter, make sure it's ready to go. Second thing is this is way too big for the moment. We're actually going to tile this and this is already a tiled basic uh, texture so it'll overlay with one another just fine. So make sure you choose your size over here, click on your grass. If you hold control button, you can size this up and it won't change any of the uh, dimensions of it. But we want it to be about one fourth the size of this map, okay? And then hit scale. That'll scale it down. Next thing we need to do is click on it. I just like to uh, click off the sizing thing so it doesn't goof it up. But if you click on this little movement arrow, click on that, that'll select it. Hit to control C and that will copy it. And when you do that, it'll appear right down here under your brushes, okay? Okay, next thing we need to make sure right now, this grass layer is only as big as your little white and black border that you see there. We want to right click on that and layer the boundary size or layer to image size will be better. And that will make this entire layer the size of our image, okay? So then we're gonna swing over to our brush. We're gonna make sure we select our grass copy that's down here. Click this little arrow that'll resize it to its basic size. From there, we're going to size it up right about here. You're going to want to make sure you, that you're on that grass layer. Oops, get rid of that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to make it easier. And click. And we're going to do down. you got to do the bottom part of this. So, same thing. Size it up. You can overlay it just a little bit. Click. And one more right here. So there's our basic outline. Now you notice I still have this little edge around because it was just a tad bit smaller than my picture, but that's okay. I'm going to zoom out. Now we're going to click on this one here. This is going to resize it. Make sure you're on the grass layer. Click on it. Grab this corner. Hold control. And bring it out just a little bit. That way it's the size of our map and scale. Now depending on what size you originally make this, and you might be able to cover that whole map with your squares as you build it. I was just a little bit off, but that's okay. So now our, we have our basic grass layer, and actually I'm going to, it bothers me when I have these little outside lines because it's going off the image, so just to keep everything nice and clean, we're going to do layer to image size again, and that makes this layer, this grass layer, the size of our image, okay? Next thing we need to do is move it down underneath the land, okay? What this does is we're going to take our land layer and create some opacity with it and start blending it with the grass that's below it. But the first thing we need to do is get rid of the grass because you see right now we have it, it's taken over. We can't see our water that's here. If we turn it off, we can. But because the grass is between the land and the water, it covers up our water. This is a quick and easy fix. All you need to do, click on your water, right click, alpha to selection. That selects the water and you see it selects all the area where we have our grass. Then we're going to click back onto our grass and hit the delete button. Then we're going to go to select and none. Everything's clicked off. Now we have our land mass and our water back, but you see we don't have our grass. That's because all of the grass that we have left is underneath our basic land mass, our land mayor, layer. So now we got to blend these two together. And that's really just as simple as clicking on our land mass and you want to turn this down to 70. And there we go. Now we have our green land mask, and it blends in with our grass layer, giving it a life like a, a vibrant sort of look to it. And if we turn this off, you can see the opacity of our land mass. 
you know, and vice versa. We turn this off and this is our green area. So these are our two layers, right? Now, at this point, we have our land is pretty much ready to go. So we're just going to click on these and uh, merge down. That way we have our land mass is all set. We don't want to mess with that or anything. You don't want to mess up our other layers. So we're good to go on that. Next part, we need to give a little bit of texture to our water that's here. So I like to use just a simple grass brush that's right down here. You should have it as a default brush in Imp, or GIMP, sorry. And uh, we have to dig around, you might find it in there. Um, if not, you can download them though. But any one of these will really work. This one seems to work the best. So you're gonna click on the grass, make sure we're on our brush. And right now it's really big and we don't want that. We want to resize this. Okay, now it makes it much smaller, much easier to work with. And for our color, you wanna click on the black. This is your foreground color. We want a bluish color. Now, it doesn't matter really what color we're going for. I actually have several that are already in here. Um, this one would work good. If you want the number, it's 456 CFF. Type that right in. You'll get the same one as I have. Um, but you can adjust it up and down a little bit and tweak it how you want. Once you get the color that you want, go ahead and click OK. We're going to right-click on this water. And again, we're going to add um, alpha to the selection. That way, what this will do is we can't you know, put any texture out here in this other area because there's nothing there, okay? We only want to be able to uh, put this texture onto the water itself. So now that we have the water all selected, you're just going to go around and click. And this will start adding a little bit of texture to our water. Now you notice that I'm clicking on each time instead of dragging that. If I drag this, and drag it across, it'll create this big blurry line that we don't want there. Plus it takes up a lot of resources and it's kind of slow. We would just want to have these little looks like little ripples on top of the water. And so you just kind of go across to each area, add these. Down there, let's hit this one. You don't have to be exact really, it's going to kind of fill in itself as we go. Alright, so that gives our thing back. So let's turn the water back on to select none. And there is our grassy land mass, our continent, if you will, and our water. And now the water is actually a little brighter than I like. So I'm going to kind of tone that down a little bit. So I'm going to click off this brush since it's kind of annoying. And make sure we're on our water. We're going to go up to a colorize and mess with our brightness and contrast. Now I'm, th I'm thinking it's a little too blue and a little too bright, so I want to tone that down a little, get a little bit more of an uh, greenish, grayish, oceany sort of color. So I'm going to pull the brightness down a little bit. Let's put it around 30. I like 40. That gives it that. And if I drag our contrast down a little bit, that'll help uh, blend it in a little. Uh, let's see. I like that. That looks a little bit better. So yeah. So try the 40, 20. See if you like it. You could go a little bit more maybe, depending. Um, it's going to give it a little bit more of a grayish appearance the more you go, and it's going to start blending it so you can't quite see those ripples if you want to do too much. But feel free to play around. 40, 20 gives me a nice uh, ratio that I like here. So with that, I'm going to... Actually, I think I might bring it up just a little. Yeah, let's go with 30, 20. Hit OK. So, and that is basically the second step for this tutorial. Quick, simple, easy. At this point, you should have your basic land mass with a bit of a greenish texture in there. It looks like grass, kind of like we're looking down on this place. We've got our water, a bit of ripples that are starting to show through. And things are looking good so far. So that's the second tutorial. Hopefully you've bared with me so far through this. And uh, next one, we're going to start um, building some layers on this. We're going to start destroying some divots, some hills, and start building this uh, land mass into a bit of a texture, giving it some color, giving it some vibrancy, some life. So... Keep with me. We'll see you on episode three shortly, and uh, have a great day, and keep on gimping.